Rosen Mood Review. Three college students find themselves trapped on a ski lift, suspended far above the ground with almost a week to go before the ski resort will open again. They're isolated, it's cold, and they have no means of communication. That in itself is a tad flat for an entire 90 minute movie. So fortunately, we do also get characters that actually, that you, know, you might actually remember, and they aren't obnoxious. We have the two friends since childhood, Dan and Lynch. Now, Dan has recently gotten a girlfriend, Parker, and he's now trying to figure out, you know, either choosing between the two of them or, you know, spending equal amounts of time with them. So there's conflict right off the bat. This is established within the first couple of minutes of the movie. The basic concept is really the big selling point here. If you like the idea of three people stuck on a ski lift having to figure out how they're going to survive, watch the movie. That's If you don't, you're probably not going to like it. It's pretty realistic. There are a lot of dangers seen in the very threatening environment, and they are, they tend to be pretty effective. Makeup and other effects are a bit hit and miss. The acting is pretty good, and yes, one of the guys is Iceman, I don't know, maybe he doesn't have a handle on his powers yet because you'd think that he could just get them off from there, but whatever. The pacing is pretty good. What makes it work is that they're not just stuck on a ski lift whining for 90 minutes. In fact, they don't start off on the ski lift. We get some character development first, and it really helps make the latter situations work more. We actually sympathize with all three. It doesn't really feel like anyone is just the one we're supposed to hate. No one is really wrong in the aforementioned conflict. Now, the there are numerous developments along the way as they are on the ski lift and these aren't too plentiful that it feels like it's trying to you know it's never overwhelming and at the same time there aren't so few that you ever really stop caring the movie is about 85 minutes and then the credits and it's just entertaining and engaging throughout. I found myself cheering them on and yelling advice at the screen whenever they were in danger. 